for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on HTML. And you can see here we're inside of uh, Dreamweaver CS5 now. We're using that as our code editor. And we've seen in our last video how to set up the basic form for an HTML page. And we, uh, we went over the basic elements, which are HTML, which contains all of the HTML markup in your document. And then two sections, the head section, which I'm actually going to indent a little bit there, and the body section. And remember, the head section holds all the instructions for the browser, whereas the body section holds content for the user. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put three different elements in here. I'm going to go ahead and first add the title tag so the browser knows how to title the browser window. I'm going to put that in the head section because it is the title for the browser window. So I'm going to go ahead and do title. And don't confuse this with the heading for the page. And I'm going to go ahead and type my first web page. And then I'm going to close the title tag. And again, you'll see Dreamweaver auto-completed that for me. And that's one of the advantages of using a web editing program like Dreamweaver. And then I'm going to come down here in the body section. And I want to add a couple pieces of uh, text. I want to add a heading for the page. And I want to add a paragraph of text. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the H1 tag. And that's a first level heading. And then I'm going to go ahead and type um, home page. And then I'm going to close that tag. Remember, whenever you open a tag, you need to close a tag. Sometimes there are things that come in between. For instance, I have the opening body tag here and the closing body tag here. And all my content comes in between. But whenever there's an opening tag, there always needs to be a matching closing tag. And the H tags are your different heading levels. So I can do H1, H2, H3, and I can use that to organize the content on my page. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in a paragraph of text. And the tag I use to mark a paragraph is going to be the P tag. You'll see that just like all the other tags. P stands for paragraph. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in some information here. And I've actually, I'm just actually going to type the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. We've all seen that quite a few times. And then I'm going to close that paragraph tag. I'm going to go ahead and save my document. And one of the new features in Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 are actually these live views. And I'm in code view right now in Dreamweaver. I want to actually switch to live view. So I'm going to go ahead and click on live view right there. And you're going to see it gives me a preview of the way the web page is actually going to look. Don't confuse this with design view that you can actually edit in. This is actually a split view in between the uh, preview and the content. And you can actually click over here in your code view and type information in. I'm going to go ahead and open up another P tag and type this is another paragraph. And then close my P tag. And you can see it doesn't appear there until I actually click. And once I click, the live view updates itself. And I can see my additional content there. So in this video, we've actually learned about three different tags inside of HTML. I'm going to go ahead and turn the live view off here and just go strictly into code view. We've learned about the title tag, which titles the browser window. We've learned about the H tag, which there are different levels for. For instance, we've got H1, H2, H3, and that's for a heading tag. And then we've also talked about the P tag. And the P tag 
denotes a paragraph of text. In our next video, we're going to learn how to set up ordered and unordered lists of information on our pages. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.